Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Dr. Stephen Roth and I'm a board certified oral and maxillofacial pathologist. Today I'll be reviewing geographic tongue as a part of my clinical review series. First, we have to get into the disclaimers, which are that the opinions expressed in this video are mine and mine alone, and do not represent any organization that employs me or that I may belong to, and that this video is intended for educational purposes only and should not serve as medical advice. Should you have any questions or concerns about your oral or systemic health, please see your nearest oral or systemic health care provider. With that being said, let's talk about geographic tongue. Geographic tongue, or benign migratory glossitis, is a relatively common condition and is often considered a variation of normal. Up to 5% of the population is found to have geographic tongue, and we're not sure why it happens. The microscopic findings of geographic tongue are similar to psoriasis, in fact we call it psoriasiform mucositis, but this condition is unrelated to psoriasis of the skin. The appearance of the geographic tongue will likely change over time and will become more and or less apparent without any known etiologic link. There is a relationship with fissure tongue and about one third of patients with fissure tongue, which is also a variation of normal, will also have geographic tongue. Very rarely, geographic tongue will be found outside of the tongue. We call that ectopic geographic tongue or benign migratory stomatitis. For most patients, this condition is asymptomatic. However, some patients experience symptoms when eating certain foods, like those of citrus fruits, including tomatoes or vinaigrettes. Symptomatic patients often benefit from application of a topical corticosteroid gel as needed for symptoms. I suggest the patient use the topical steroid gel sparingly when symptomatic. I prefer a gel to an ointment or a cream, as gels are typically better tolerated by patients in the oral cavity due to being water-based, rather than ointments or creams which are oil-based. We know that oil and water don't mix. This gel is off-label, and there's a package insert that states external use only and do not use for more than two weeks. One of the large pharmacy chains may even send the patient a video of a man in a white coat saying don't put this gel in the mouth. but. As long as the patient is using this gel sparingly, it's safe to use in the oral cavity, and many patients in my practice and in practices like mine use this gel in the mouth. So that's my approach to geographic tongue. Thanks for watching, and be sure to give this video a like if you found it helpful. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any more of my clinical review videos. Thanks again for watching, and be well.